Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, continuing our discussion with Dr. Rojdi. Now, speaking as well of the, uh, the Egyptian productivity, now, the government and the Sinai Peninsula in specific has inc includes five industrial zones, mainly in uh, Bir al Abd, Central Sinai, uh, also Al Antara Shar. Like, we have almost five industrial zones and one in Central Sinai, that's uh, the governorates of both North and South Sinai. Now, do you see this as um, a good opportunity for? not just for the, uh, the Bedouins and the inhabitants uh, of uh, the Sinai Peninsula, but also talking about uh, people from maybe Cairo, Alexandria, different governorates moving to uh, the Sinai Peninsula. And we were talking uh, briefly now, we, you were talking about not just increasing the productivity for the consumption of the Egyptian citizen, yeah. but also to, uh, with, with an aim to export a lot. So how uh, are these five industrial zones in Sinai going to help the Egyptian productivity and the exporting levels? Um, actually, as we talked in the break when mm -hmm. we go, uh, one of the most important things is that to focus on our GDP structure. Mm -hmm. as, you, as you know and our audience knows, uh, actually the GDP structure consists of part agriculture, part industry, and part services. Uh -huh. If you would like to enhance the income and the balance of payment, income, everything, what you have to focus on, you have to increase the part of services, which is give more income, uh -huh. in addition to the part of industry. Uh -huh. And little bit, little bit decrease uh -huh. the part of agriculture, not stop it. Yes. This is considered security part mm -hmm. the most important thing mm -hmm. who can't feed himself or who can't uh, have uh, mm -hmm. his own food yes. he couldn't take his own decision mm -hmm. this is the most important thing we mm -hmm. have to focus on it mm -hmm. i believe that the government and the uh, presidential leadership are focusing on that yes. uh, very well honestly mm -hmm. we have to appreciate something like that mm -hmm. Uh, but a little bit we have to focus on enhancing the industrial part mm -hmm. in addition to the service part. Uh, as we told, uh, there are many free trade zones mm -hmm. are working to be launched uh, coming soon, those for different countries, mm -hmm. like Russia, like many European countries, many, many things. Mm -hmm. This will be uh, an important tool to change our economy. We have to focus on decreasing our consumption and increasing our exports. Mm -hmm. As we discussed, if we would like, and we should, we should, we should, we should export n not the raw material. Mm -hmm. We should to have an Final added products. value mm -hmm. for that. There are a lot of African countries, what they are doing, they are just uh, exporting oil mm -hmm. without uh, filtering, uh, without uh, any changes. Mm -hmm. And after that, the European countries are working on it and they imported the oil, mm -hmm. the oil mm -hmm. from other European countries. Mm -hmm. What we have to focus on, if you, if you have this shirt, for example, our cotton has a post of repetition yes. everywhere. Yes. If you are staying at hotel in uh, USA or something mm -hmm. like that, when you are saying to you, you are you have uh, a room, mm -hmm. uh, the room, the bed, uh, and the cover with Egyptian cotton, mm -hmm. it looks like you are sleeping on a heaven. Yes, yes. Yeah, you can mm -hmm. imagine. We shouldn't. Uh, we shouldn't uh, export. Uh, actually, we shouldn't uh, export the raw materials we have to add value. We could capitalize on those industrial mm -hmm. zones to f little bit, let each zone focus on an industry. Mm -hmm. For example, for electronic, for um, clothes, mm -hmm. for uh, raw material, for F&B, for food and beverage, mm -hmm. something like that. And then 
to export them outside mm -hmm. and with high quality. You know that uh, the global, we have a uh, small, we are currently with the new technology, the internet, we are a small, uh, we are a small country. Mm -hmm. All the global is a small country. Yes. The competitiveness is quite high. Yes. And for example, what I told you that our, and our audience, that our competitiveness, global competitiveness, advanced 20 places in 2020 to be number 82 among 141 country. Mm -hmm. This is due to a small, tiny changes that reflected Directly, immediately, mm -hmm. yes, immediately, actually, and those tiny things would reflect positively if we focus on to be specialized and we have a competitive edge and to have a competitive edge on our products actually mm -hmm. to export them mm -hmm. and to know and to target the market that we would like to focus on it. Mm -hmm. I believe if you would like to enter any uh, market. There are three, uh, three actually uh, entering strategies. Mm -hmm. If you can see the market, you can offer one product for all the customers, mm -hmm. or all car, all markets. If and the other one, when just is, and this is called undifferentiation strategy. Mm -hmm. The second one, which is differentiation strategy, to segment the market, mm -hmm. and then give each market the appropriate marketing mix. The marketing mix, including product, service, uh, the product and the place and the promotion, everything. Uh, and the last one, which is called the focus strategy. Mm -hmm. What is the focus strategy? You have to segment the market mm -hmm. and focus on one segment. Mm -hmm. For example, we can, uh, we can illustrate to you, our audience something like that. Uh, for example, there are many uh, many many companies multinational mm -hmm. companies that they are focusing on high net worth customers or niche customers mm -hmm. they are not selling their cars their uh, the watches to all people mm -hmm. they are focusing and currently when we are focusing when we are tailoring po uh, tailoring products we have to tailor it based on uh, a thing which called siva what is siva as far as i call it's a theory that published in American Marketing Journal mm -hmm. in 2009, which is when you are putting the marketing mix, which is the product, when you are offering a product, you are not offering a product, you are offering solutions. Mm -hmm. You hit a nerve. If you know that this country, the, they would like, for example, they love uh, potatoes. For mm -hmm. example, mm -hmm. we can focus to export, actually, for them, potatoes. Mm -hmm. This is solution for them. Yes. If they would love the technology and they would love to focus on uh, tablets or uh, other things, mm -hmm. mobiles, you have to focus on this. Mm -hmm. This is how you can, yes. you can hit this market yes. actually. Those tiny things, if we focused on them, it would have a dramatic changes on our economy and positively will impact our economy mm -hmm. and I hope one day to see that the Egyptian economy mm -hmm. among the most important yes. ten countries around the world. Hopefully so. Well, one last question, uh, Dr. Roji, because we're running out of time. Now, one of the things you've been talking about was focusing on a market's needs. Now, all countries have a need for energy. And you've mentioned earlier in the show the talk about renewable energy, talking about solar energy, talking about, and, and slowly but surely we are turning into uh, an energy hub. I mean, uh, earlier today we were talking about Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri talking to his Hungarian counterpart, talking about exporting gas to Hungary. And we have now uh, three of the biggest electrical power plants. We're talking about also uh, solar energy, uh, talking about Gebel Zid. So all of these things, and you've mentioned renewable energy specifically for Sinai. Do you think that this could be one of the focuses or one of the sievers for this peninsula? Or do you think that we could, the, the, the peninsula has some other options? I mean, talking about the tourism, of course, but we already 
Sinai, as you've mentioned, is well, is well known for its tourism. So what other sector do you feel that we can actually have a strong focus on? In my humble opinion, uh, the renewable energy mm -hmm. will be the new air for our world. Mm -hmm. And this is what the global community is calling for it. As you remember, uh, two or three months ago, mm -hmm. actually what happened, there was the climate conference yes. in Paris. Mm -hmm. They are focusing on, uh, on the renewable energy. Mm -hmm. There is a great focus globally. This is the new era. In my humble opinion, we could focus just not to create just the energy mm -hmm. or solid. We can, for example, we can use the solar energy mm -hmm. to, uh, and also to create cars that work with the solar energy. And this positively mm -hmm. will impact our community. Yes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as Dr. Rojdi has mentioned, there's a lot of room for investment and uh, vital sectors of our economy to be developed in the whole of the Sinai Peninsula uh, strategy that's been there since 2014. And for many years now, we've been working on it and still more to come from such a dear part of our country. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this edition of the Daily Debate. But before we go, I'd like to thank my guest, Dr. Mohamed Rushdi, the lecturer at Cairo University and also the banking and economic expert, Dr. Rushdi. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for you and the Daily Debate team and our audience and good evening. Thank you very much. Always thank a pleasure, you. sir. Ladies and gentlemen, please stay tuned for more coming up on Nile International. I'm Henny Saif. Thank you for joining us.